All right, welcome to statistics video number two, where we're going to be looking at the mean, median, and mode, which are individual measures of the average or central tendency. So before I begin, I want to make sure you understand these basic rules. So if the data is symmetrical, you want to use the mean to determine the average. If the data is skewed in either direction, you want to use the median to determine the average. And if the data is nominal, that is, it's dealing with categories such as brands, favorite foods, etc., you want to use the mode to determine the average. Now for the first two, the mean and the median, and to determine if the data is symmetrical or skewed, you want to use a frequency distribution table and a histogram chart or one or the other. And if you need a refresher on that, you can look at my first statistics video. And really, these are just the basic rules. Uh, I, create, I, I created a little chart here that has more rules more rules here, but there are quite a few other rules. So if you need more information, just do a little Google search. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the mean. And so I have a bunch of data here, just sales for individual stores. And I started by creating a frequency distribution chart using the frequency function here. And I, you know, I did the same thing that I did in the first video. And as you can tell, the data is somewhat normal. And so I'm going to use the mean. So the mean is the average. So I'm going to highlight my range here. We can see the mean is approximately 54,700. Now if the mean, or I'm sorry, if the data is symmetrical, you can use the mean, median, or mode to look at the average, and they should be right around the same value. So I'm going to look at the median as well. and you can see they are right around the same value. All right, let's move on to the median. So I'm using similar sales data, however, the data is obviously skewed. And since it is skewed, I'm going to be using the median to determine the average. So let me start with that. You can see the median is approximately 54,200. And let me show you what the mean, the, the mean looks like just to show you that it is going to be off and it's only a little bit off but it does make a difference and so definitely when the data is skewed you want to use the median and um, just an example in one arena where you definitely want to use the median is home prices all right now let's take a look at the mode so in this example basically Let's pretend that I took a survey of people's favorite fruits and I got the results here. And since they aren't numbers, I can't use the mode function. And let me just prove it to you here. And let me just show you what the mode function does when there are numbers. And if you forget what the mode really does, so this returns the most frequently reoccurring or repetitive value in an array or range of data. So it's just going to return the, the number that appears the most. So let me go ahead and do this here, and you can see the mode is 1. Now, to determine the, the mode for nominal data, what you want to do is select the range here, make sure you select the header as well, go to insert, pivot table, pivot chart. I'm going to select exist existing worksheets, I'm going to put the uh, pivot, pivot table in our chart right there, click OK. So I'm going to drag the header down to the access fields and access values. You can see there's a frequency distribution table and a histogram chart, and as you can tell, the survey results show that apple is by far the most favored f fruit. It comes up 18 times, and in second place is that 
apricots, which show up only three times, and you can, or actually, I'm sorry, kiwi and then pineapple, which show up four times each. All right, so that is central tendency, the mean, median, and mode. I hope you learned something today, and thank you for watching.